creating an event. Creating an event on Ticketer is quick and easy. Let's quickly create an event. Please note that although we use the term event in this video, the concept can equally apply to any activity that may require ticketing, admission, booking, or reservation. I can create the event from the Quick Links section or from the Control Panel Events button. It pops up an event creation wizard that I can use to create my events basics before going to the actual event editor that offers plenty of options and customizations. Alternatively, I can close the pop-up and use the event editor. Set the event title. Select the event type. The event can be online or in person. Online events can be live or on demand. You can use on-demand events to easily monetize your videos. In-person events can be assigned seated or general admission, or a combination of both. Assigned seated events allows the buyers to pick their seat on an interactive seating chart. Ticketer offers a state-of-the-art seating chart designer tool that allows you to build any seating chart, including theater style, round table dinner style, restaurant or cabaret style nightclub style, or any combination of them quickly and easily at no charge. Select or create a venue. Venue is the physical or virtual place where your event happens. For seated events, the venue also contains the seating chart. Select the date and time of the event. If the event is recurring, you can set the date and time to the first recurrence and later on set the schedule. Optionally upload an image or flyer for the event. Set the tax or VAT and social distancing setting. Set the prices and pricing structure. Ticketer price levels and variations gives you full flexibility to create all kinds of pricing. If the event is assigned seated, it also lets you set multiple prices per seat, such as kids price versus adult price. You can add as many price levels and each price level can have as many price variations. Some example of price levels and variations are general price, VIP, kids, seniors, members, time-based pricing such as early bird, last minute, group-based pricing such as couples ticket, family ticket, group of 10 or more, two-day ticket, weekend pass, multi-session or multi-day tickets. Price levels and variations can have their own face price as well as the fee or the service charge that the buyer pays to you as you are the only one who sets and collects the service charges, and you can charge as high or as low as you like. Price levels or variations can be time-based, so you can have time-based pricing such as early bird or last-minute prices. They can also be number-based that allows you to have group tickets, such as family tickets, couples tickets, group of 10 or more tickets, two-day admission, weekend pass, 10-session class, etc. They can also be password-protected and hidden from general public. Note that you can change the pricing and the capacity at any time, and the changes will be effective immediately. For this example, I am creating a singles price as well as a couples price that is available in increments of two at a lower price. Then I need to add a payment processor or my PayPal. Payment processor is a financial service that allows you to charge credit and debit cards and deposits the money in your bank account. Most payment processors, except for PayPal, are behind the scene and the user doesn't know about their name or brand. We support most common payment processors, including Stripe, PayPal, Braintree, Authorize.net, if you don't have one, you can simply get a Stripe or PayPal account in a couple minutes and use it right away. Click on Stripe or PayPal button, sign into your account, or fill out the sign-up form to get a new account, and click on the button to add that to your account. Finish the event creation wizard and it will take you to the advanced event configuration. There are lots of settings and configurations that allows you to customize the event. Complete the event by adding the event description, fine-tune the settings, add your flyer, and video. You can also set the event sales start and end date and time, set the event to recurring and set the schedule, specify what delivery methods are available for the event, set your return or exchange upgrade policy so buyers can upgrade their tickets or change the date without contacting you, set the event categories, type, and genre, 
set the event availability, restrictions, or make it available to certain group or protect it with individual passwords. Add questions for the buyer to answer. Add relevant events, merchandise, gift cards, or donations to the pre-checkout page to upsell and promote them. And finally, test the event as an event buyer by going to the purchase ticket page, and if everything looks good, promote the event.